Hello everyone, welcome to science session. We're going to begin this session with a small brainstorming activity. I want you to unscramble these letters and fill in the red blank. The first blank is light travels in dashed lines. So we are going to unscramble this word. All right, let's go ahead. So light travels in straight. lines all right the second one dash objects do not allow light to pass through which object opaque objects well then everyone today our lfq is how do i explore the properties of light you don't need to write the uh, keywords we have already written there before so quickly write the LFQ and the date. Here comes our next activity. Now, what do you notice in the given picture? Are all these pictures sources of light? If not, why are they not sources? Where do the light come from? All the pictures are not sources of light. Which ones are not? Glitter, ball, mirror, and moon. These are not sources of light. Why are they not sources? Because they don't have their own light. They reflect light from others. That's how they get the lights from. Moon gets the light from the sun. Glitter ball from any sources that is close by, even the mirror. Okay. Now. In this given picture, will the boy be able to see the candle flame? Which picture? A or B? And why do you think so? We know that the boy in picture A will be able to see the candle flame because he has a straight tube which will enable him to see. In this picture B, the boy has banded tube so we know that the boy in picture a will be able to see the candle flame why because he has a straight tube and what does uh, it conclude about light from the given picture let's think about picture a it concludes that light travels in straight line that's why the boy is able to see in a straight tube if light can go around or light can bend, he will be able to see in picture B, which is not the case here. The next slide, I have given you pencil, paper, water bottle. And I want you to choose the object which will block the most amount of light and why. Why do you think? this object will block the most amount of light. Is it pencil? Is it paper? Is it water bottle? And we know pencil, this is the correct one, will be able to block the most amount of light because pencil is an opaque object. Paper and clear water bottle, these are, paper is a translucent. Clear water bottle is a transparent. So translucent allow few lights to go through. So it will not block the most amount of light. Transparent water bottle, all the lights will pass through. Right? Now we are going to explain with an illustration how we will be able to see the apple. Your eye is here. The light source is here. And apple is here. So how are we going to see how we will be able to see the apple. First, from the light source, this is an illustration. Okay, illustration means with an arrow I'm showing, the light has to reach to the apple. And from apple, light reflects back or bounces back and reaching our eye. So we are able to see the 
upper why do we not why do we need source of light to see the apple why do we need the lamp to see the apple it's because apple is not a source of light we will not be able to see apple without the source of light so we need light source now afl without light source we can see things is it true no we cannot see without light source this is false light can bend and go round the corner no light cannot bend moon is not a source of light that's true moon does not have its own light translucent object allow only some light to pass through that's right only few lights to pass through okay so one and two is false we cannot see without light number two is also false light cannot bend and cannot go around the corner yes moon is not a source of light translucent allow some light to pass through this is our task you need to read carefully the task and once you finish you can take the quiz here is also a question for super challenge and your teacher must have given you the quiz code. You enter the quiz code and enjoy the quiz. Thank you, everyone.